Hey guys, this is a quick video. I'm just going to show you T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling, texting, and obviously data. Data is routed over Wi-Fi regardless. T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling and texting is on or not. So it's very simple. All you need is service with T-Mobile that is active. You pop in your SIM card into a, either the T-Mobile iPhone 6, 6 Plus, uh, 5S also is supporting the Wi-Fi calling. Uh, the 5 and the 5C. I am not sure about 4S, but these are the models that I'm sure about. So all you need is the service active. And if you're on the $30 plan, I've gotten mixed reports. Um, I've looked around on the internet. A lot of people have said that it does not use your plan minutes. And I did ask T-Mobile support on Twitter. However, they said it does use your plan minutes. And most of the time I would say people that actually use the service like the customers are right so I'm gonna take the word of those that have said that hey does not use your uh, minutes so if you're on the $30 plan and you only have 100 minutes um, if Wi-Fi calling really does not use your minutes which you can check online just to make sure that you're not using any of your 100 minutes that you get per month with the $30 plan that gives you 5 gigabytes of data this would be the perfect plan um, to set up Wi-Fi calling so that every time you're on Wi-Fi you are just able to make calls and send text messages actually text message is not the issue it's just the calls because you got unlimited text and 5 gigs of data so you're definitely not going to run out of that but you will run out of those minutes so once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network any available what you want to do is you want to go down to phone and click on Wi-Fi calls and allow Wi-Fi calls turn that to on it will ask you to update your emergency address so what you want to do is most likely um, put down your home address which would be the most appropriate choice to do um, in a way it doesn't really make sense because if you're out and about and say for example you know you're somewhere away from home and you have an emergency but you're connected to Wi-Fi you're making a Wi-Fi call to 911 and T-Mobile sends the emergency response to your house. Doesn't really make sense. I never really got that part of the VoIP services as to why they ask for an address. I mean, Wi-Fi does provide pretty good location services, so I'm not sure why they're not able to do that. But they do want an address on file uh, while you're using the Wi-Fi calling for the emergency purposes. And one of the reasons is because normally with the cell tower, they're able to get the location a lot quicker and again I'm not sure why they're not able to do it over Wi-Fi uh, it is a little bit strange but it's just one of the things that T-Mobile and along with many other VoIP service providers require so once you have that on you'll see that this will pop up over here it will say T-Mobile Wi-Fi and that's when you know that you're connected to the T-Mobile Wi-Fi service and all your calls and text messages are being routed through the Wi-Fi network rather than sell the service so if I turn that off now you see that T-Mobile just says T-Mobile don't worry that SIM card you can see the number all you want because to be honest this is just the Apple iPad um, data SIM card that T-Mobile gives you 200 megabytes free on so I'm just able to show you that it can activate on T-Mobile Wi-Fi which is pretty neat um, I don't make plan to make any calls with the SIM card because it will charge me quite a bit and I only use it for just the 200 megabytes free per month data is just a backup whenever I need it so I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi and you can see look it's on T-Mobile LTE we'll just refresh that oh there you go T-Mobile LTE is working uh, another thing you could do is uh, I believe if available in your city you could change the LTE to data only rather than voice and data and now it's just data only LTE uh, you could turn LTE off or you could just do voice and data at the same time um, I don't think here where I am they don't they have a voice over LTE so I don't think it really makes any difference and the APN is fast dash or dot t dash mobile dot com everything else is normally what you would see in your phones or iPad as well so again, it's very simple. Just go to phone, Wi-Fi calls, 
turn that on connect to Wi-Fi and within a few seconds it should change over to T-Mobile Wi-Fi and if it doesn't just come back here turn it off turn it on it should show up I know I noticed that I had to do it a few times so far today but it does work though okay well that's a wrap um, I'll make another video next time so please rate, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to reply back within a pretty good time frame. Alright, take care.